Hi, I'm John Refrano for Boris FX, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at BCC Beauty Studio for Final Cut Pro 10. Beauty Studio is a new skin retouching tool that gives editors the ability to smooth skin and remove unwanted blemishes, making their talent look better. As opposed to a simple blur, this filter uses a multi stage smoothing algorithm coupled with state of the art keyer to isolate and smooth out only the skin tones in the subject. The Beauty Studio filter also includes a few additional finishing stages to polish up the result. Let me show you the before and after here. I'm going to get this uh, looping. And so in this picture, we already have Beauty Studio applied. And let me make this bigger so you can see it. There you can see lots of detail in the skin. It's not all blurred out, but it's very, very smooth. Now let me turn off Beauty Studio and you can see what the original was. There's the original. So there's quite a few beauty marks and uh, blemishes in the skin here. Um, you can see, you know, quite a bit of shine. And when I turn it on, all of that is just smoothed out very naturally. You can see there's still a lot of detail in the lips, a lot of detail in the eyes and the hair because we're using a mask. So let me show you how this works. This is pretty cool. We're going to go over it to uh, the clip that we're going to affect. And I'm going to drop Beauty Studio on the clip. And so that is in the BCC image restoration category in my effects. And then I'll just take Beauty Studio and I'll drag and drop it on. And you can see already that it's done some smoothing. Let me turn this on and off. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make this much bigger. Let me close this. And I'll make that much bigger. Okay, now we really can see what we're working with. And I'm going to turn it on and off. Here it is off. Here it is on. And just the defaults are pretty good. Right away, you can see that it smooth things out nicely, but we can make this a lot better. Now, there's lots of parameters here, but what you need to realize is that each one of these is a section. Wherever you see an on, like sharpen on, this is the sharpening section. Then color correction on, this is the color correction section, right? Uh, glow on, this is the glow section. So these are grouped together, and I'm going to move down to where the pixel chooser is. And usually, the pixel chooser is off by default, but because this effect, you almost always want the pixel chooser on, because you only want to affect skin tones, it's on by default. Let's turn on View Mask Matte and see what the matte looks like. So there, this is a regular black and white matte, so white gets the most of the effect and black gets none of the effect. So you can see there's only these really shiny areas are going to get a lot of smoothing, the rest of it isn't. So we can improve this matte an awful lot so that it's affecting more of the face. Let me turn it off and go down to the color pickers. So here we have two color pickers, A and B. And we're going to pick the lightest color with A. So let me go over, uh, get the eyedropper, and I want to pick a one, part of this area that's kind of glossy. Matter of fact, maybe even some of the area on the nose that's fairly bright. So we get a bright color there. And then with uh, B, I want to do a dark color. So I'll click on B, and let's get a dark color in, uh, in here somewhere. And right away you can see a lot more blur is happening. Let me maybe get one not so dark, maybe in here. There. Now let's go back and look at that mat. I'm going to turn the mat back on. <clears throat> and now you can see a lot more of the mat is uh, affecting the image. So let's go back down and use the hue softness and saturation softness and luma softness to tune this up a bit. So I'm going to bring the hue over just a bit. Yeah, the key is I want those lips and the eyes to start to turn, uh, turn black. So let me bring some of these down. Yeah, it was a little too much. So now you can start to see the eyes won't be affected, uh, some of the lips won't be affected, the hair won't be affected. We're really just applying it to this area of the face. And you can sit and you know fine tune this, um, but this is good enough just to demonstrate um, what's going on here. So now let's go up and take the mat off. And one of the things I like about most of these BCC plugins is that they have this nice compare option way up at the top. The compare mode is off and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side compare. So now we really can see the difference. 
right? We've got plenty of uh, detail in the eyes, plenty of detail in the lips, and we just have some smoothing out uh, over here. And, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, skin imperfections have been smoothed over. Let me turn the side by side off and let's work on this picture a little more. I mean, you have to kind of admit the defaults are set up so well in this filter that your client would probably be satisfied with this result. But let's see if we can add more polish to the image. To fine tune the skin smoothing in this particular shot, we'll make some minor adjustments to one of the smoothing passes. So notice these smoothing passes here. We've got smoothing smallest, smoothing small, smoothing medium, large, and the largest. So you have a lot of finite control over the size of the details that get smoothed. What we want to do is smooth the small details just a little bit more without touching the smallest details. Just, just a tad. Notice how the finest details did not change and remain sharp instead of becoming blurred out. But her skin appears to be a little smoother with this application of a little digital makeup. Now let's add a little post smoothing pass sharpening to the image to bring back more of the detail while preserving the good work that was done by the smoothing passes. In the filter, I'm going to turn Sharpen on. Now to contain the sharpening to only the smooth areas, we'll reuse the mat that we generated with the integrated color key. So I'm going to say Use Mask. And so we also scale back the smoothing slightly to customize it for this image. So I'm going to take the sharpening amount down from 30 to somewhere around 20. That 16 looks good. Now we're really making progress with this image, but let's further enhance the result by adding a very subtle glow to the image. So I'm going to go to the glow section, and I'm going to turn the glow on. Now I'm going to adjust the threshold down. Now remember, the lower you make the threshold, the more glow you get. Right? So you bring it way down, you can get a lot of glow. I just want to bring it just lower than it was. So right around, uh, I think right around there is pretty good. And then maybe we'll bring the glow intensity down just a bit. Now let me turn that on and on so you can see the glow. This is with it off. And this is with it on. It's just a very, very slight glow. But for this effect, we'll apply it to the entire image because it'll look kind of strange if just her skin is glowing. So we'll leave the used mask unchecked. To finish the shot, we'll use an integrated color correction module to make a subtle yet visible adjustment in the color and contrast of the skin tone. So I'm going to go up here to color correction and turn it on. And then I'm going to adjust the brightness and the contrast just a little bit. Wow, and that's so wild. I'm just going to type these in. I think I want to take it up to maybe four on both and then we'll take a look at we we'll turn this off and turn it on and it just gives it a very subtle pop now because we are using the color corrector i do want to have this constricted by the mask so i just want the skin tones to pop like that now let's go re-enable the compare mode and see what we got Notice how much more pleasing the skin tones are in the filtered result, yet the subject looks real and not as though she's made of plastic. These are very natural. Again, you can see the pores still, but it just has this nice kind of airbrushed look. So that's one of the many new filters and transitions that are now available in BCC 10 FX Plug. Download your free demo today by going to borisfx.com, and while you're at it, Make sure to sign up for the newsletter so that you can stay on top of Boris FX news and events, including the free monthly webinar where you can learn new techniques from industry leaders as well as a chance to win some very valuable software. This is John Rafrano for Boris FX. Until next time, thanks for watching.